After staying inside during the pandemic, celebrities have made some big changes with their looks in 2021, and unfortunately, not all of them are good. Starting off this list, we have number 10, Blake Lively. Blake Lively attempted to be unrecognizable in a casual outfit, but poked fun at the fact that she wore a bright red bag with her name Blake on it. Clearly, her disguise was not fooling anyone. In the look, she had her hair up in a bun and was wearing a baseball cap with the word director on it. She captioned the photo, quote, Good thing I had a hat. I didn't think anyone knew it was me. She wore casual clothes for the disguise, wearing a taupe crop top, striped pants, and a pair of chunky red and white sneakers. The director hat might be a nod to her latest endeavor as a director of Taylor Swift's music video for the song I Bet You Think About Me. In at number 9, Teresa Judice. Real Housewives of New Jersey's Teresa Judice just revealed her new nose job for the first time, and she looks completely unrecognizable. She exposed that she got the procedure earlier this month, saying it quote, made me feel better. She revealed the update while she was speaking at the New Jersey Ultimate Women's Expo on Sunday, November 7th. She said, quote, I don't know if anybody knows, but I did get the tip of my nose done, and I was so nervous about getting it. So I guess I got a nose job, just the tip of it. She even praised her fiance, Luis Ruiz, for supporting her decision. Apparently, he approved once he heard it would make her feel better about herself. There are rumors the decision was influenced by her oldest daughter, who revealed that she also got a nose job last summer. And at number 8, Kourtney Kardashian. This transformation was not only shocking, it also came with some drama. Kourtney Kardashian did a complete 180 with her look and sported a bleach blonde bob cut for Halloween. She played the character Alabama Worley, who is the female protagonist in the film True Romance. Her look featured the shocking hair, red lip, and 70s retro outfit, along with her newest addition, an engagement ring from Travis Barker. But the drama here is that the film True Romance was a special bond between Travis Barker and his ex-wife, Shannon Mochler. They even named their daughter Alabama after the lead character. Mochler commented on the strange choice, saying, quote, What was weird is that they were posing about a movie that Travis and I basically bonded over. I called him Clarence in the movie. We named our daughter after the character Alabama in the movie. I walked down the aisle to You're So Cute from True Romance. And our first dance at our wedding was to the love song from True Romance. So definitely more than a little awkward. And at number 7, Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw left his fans speechless because of his Halloween Instagram post. In the post, he is standing with a pumpkin and sporting a thick beard. The beard was so large it basically covered the bottom part of his entire face. His shocking appearance is for a reason. He had to transform for his latest acting role as James Dutton in the Yellowstone spin-off 1883, which also stars his wife, fellow country music star Faith Hill, as Margaret Dutton. Fans flooded the comments saying that they didn't recognize the star and that they had to do a double take. But other fans didn't keep their criticisms to themselves and claimed that they prefer how he looked before. One comment read, quote, I must say I like you beardless better. If you want to see the look in action, you can catch 1883 on December 19th. And at number 6, Jared Leto. Jared Leto is known for his unbelievable transformations, and he has done it yet again with his latest role as Paolo Gucci in Ridley Scott's true crime drama, House of Gucci. In this role, he wears a bald head, facial prosthetics, and flashy clothes as he dons the luxury brand's former design chief. His transformation was so shocking that his co-stars didn't even recognize him on the first day on set. Apparently, Al Pacino had no idea who Leto was. Leto said in an interview, quote, The first day I showed up to set in character, I went over to Al Pacino, and I said hello to him. And he kind of brushed me off. You could tell he couldn't wait to get away from me. But then someone told him that it was Jared Leto, and he was shocked about the transformation. When asked how long the hair and makeup would take every day, Leto said, quote, The physical part was about six hours in the morning and about an hour at night. Six hours! I can't even believe that. Halfway number 5, Leah Romini. The latest edition of the National Enquirer has reported that Leah Romini no longer looks like herself, and her friends and family are stunned about the shocking transformation. One insider said, quote, Unfortunately, she's almost unrecognizable. Apparently, the transformation is in preparation for her return to TV. One doctor said about her appearance, quote, I suspect she's had Botox with smooth frown lines and wrinkles on her forehead. But another doctor said her work has been much more dramatic and claimed she's had a complete facelift. The doctor said she looks younger now, but less attractive. Leah has been open about her use of Botox in the past, and she hasn't sworn off the idea of getting plastic surgery. So this could be proof that she's had work done. In at number 4, Blake Shelton. Gwen Stefani loves sharing old photos on her Instagram. Over the weekend, she shocked fans with two unrecognizable photos of her husband, Blake Shelton. One of the photos was from when Blake was a preteen singing into the mic. Another was when Blake was older, looking intensely at the camera while sporting long curly hair. Blake looks most unrecognizable in the second photo. He basically looks exactly like Heath Ledger in 10 Things I Hate About You. Fans determined that Blake had this shocking look, 
back when Gwen was in her no doubt years. And at number 3, Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson. The child star we knew as Honey Boo Boo is all grown up and looks completely unrecognizable. Ahead of her 16th birthday, she posed for a spread in Teen Vogue, where she showed off how she looks now and spoke about her life. In 2019, her mother Mama June was arrested on charge of substance abuse, Alana's 2 year old sister Lauren was then given custody of her. Alana has spoken about people's expectations of her as a southern girl, saying quote, Just because I'm from the south, people expect me to be all country bumpkin, out riding four wheelers all the time, that's not really how it is. She says that she hopes to live a normal life in the future, and she even wants to become a nurse. She's also hoping to move out of her sister's house when she turns 18. In at number 2, Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis is shaking things up for her newest role, and she looks unrecognizable while playing her character Molly. In the photos that have been released from the project, Kunis looks disheveled and pretty much out of it. She also has bleached blonde hair with long grown out roots. The look is so that Kunis can play a woman who is addicted to substances. The film is called Four Good Days, and it shows the four days ahead of her getting a shot, which will prevent her from being able to get high. The film also stars Glenn Close, who plays Molly's mother, and in the trailer we can see that she is suffering withdrawal symptoms. This film is a huge shakeup for Kunis, as she generally plays comedic roles and hits like Ted and Friends with Benefits, but it looks like she is ready for an Oscar worthy performance and is excited to play a dramatic, gritty role. And finally, number one, Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron just shared some behind the scenes images from her latest project, and she looks nothing like we have ever seen before. The photos show her in a huge curly red wig, a stark contrast from her signature blonde. The new look is to play a character Lady Lesso in an upcoming Netflix show, School for the Good and Evil. In one of her captions, she revealed the character is evil, giving the look a whole other meaning. She wrote, quote, Ain't no rest for the evil. Can't wait for you all to meet Lady Lesso. The series was adapted from a series of books by Soman Chanani. Deadline reports that Lawrence Fishburne, Michelle Yeoh, and Kerry Washington are joining Theron for the series, which is currently filming in Northern Ireland and set to hit Netflix in 2022. So that is all for the list. Let me know your thoughts below. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from celebrities that hate Kylie Jenner. Paola said, Still proud that I never spent any of my money on the Kardashian Jenner brands. I do have to say, I bought Kylie Cosmetics. Or maybe I didn't buy it. I think I got Kylie Cosmetics as a gift because I have some of her lip products and eye products. They're okay. And I did buy the Skims masks specifically. They're like COVID face masks because they are very nice. But those are the only two things that I purchased. Then Invisible Beauty said, Where does she even get the idea she can patent the name Kylie? That would be like me trying to patent the word what? Pure stupidity. Completely agree. Nobody should be allowed to trademark a name that anybody in this world can get. So. Thank God that did not go through. Dana Amanda Cox said, With the family she's been exposed to all her life, she was doomed from the crib. That whole family is toxic. I mean, you're probably not wrong. Alright guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and you want to see more, make sure to like and sub to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media and I'll catch you on the next one.